A serious accident on I-85 happening during some of the heaviest downpours today. Officials say a driver going too fast for the wet conditions collided with the tractor trailer. That driver being treated for life threatening injuries. Her child was in the back seat at the time of the accident. The child is fine. Drivers were told to avoid the area for hours while crews cleaned up. This is just one of at least 50 accidents that medic responded to today. NBC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner has been on scene all day and Brandon the rain making it really a busy day for medic. Absolutely, Sarah. And in fact, that crash still being cleaned up right now because there was a fuel spill as well. Traffic reduced to one lane at 85 heading into Charlotte at exit 43. Both medic troopers say it's been an incredibly busy day because of this rain that's still coming down. This cell phone video from a Charlotte driver shows the immediate aftermath of perhaps the worst crash so far today. Watch again as firefighters use the jaws of life to quickly rescue both the driver and this baby who survived without a scratch. The man who shot this photo and video tells us many drivers ran out of their cars to help before firefighters arrived. Trooper Ray Pierce says the woman driving this car appeared to be going too fast for these wet conditions. At that time, she lost control, slid into the path of the tractor trailer. Uh, he attempted to get out of her way and avoid the collision, causing him to lose control also. Uh, the two vehicles made contact and the tractor trailer ran off the left shoulder of the roadway and struck the shoulder barrier. Both drivers were taken to local hospitals, but they're expected to be okay. Medic tells us this crash was one of more than 50 they've gone to so far, including this one at 485 in Sugar Creek involving a tractor trailer. And with more rain expected this weekend, Trooper Pierce says Highway Patrol is bracing for more crashes. Increase your following distance and slow your speeds down for us, and hopefully that'll keep you out of a wreck and reduce our calls for service this weekend. And always remember, turn, uh, excuse me, always remember to move over and slow down, particularly when you see flashing lights. That includes firefighters, police officers, medics, as well as record crews, as they're expecting a lot more collisions coming up through the weekend. Reporting live along I-85, I'm Brandon Goldner, NBC Charlotte.